Good afternoon and welcome to the Panther Power Hour. This is Ryan Markham and Sam Lane bringing you your news. Pride Board is sponsoring a poster contest. Each school is asked to pick a school-wide winner. Overall county winner will receive $200. The second place winner will receive $100. And the third place winner will receive $50. The poster can be of any pride focus. Anti-litter, recycling, environment, cleanup, and etc. Last Tuesday night, in between the boys' JV and varsity games, the Mrs. Varsity Court Queen was crowned, and their winner was Kaylee Johnson. And, uh, This is Madison Nighthawk Coleman. I'm bringing you your sports update. I'm here with Brandon, two-tone junior Blackburn, to give you the latest from the Pocket Panthers. Steamrolling over Valley, the Panthers took home a victory with a 68-64 win. You know what this means, we're back. I really don't think you know what that means. Yeah. On Saturday, the girls took on Eastridge to come away with another astounding win, putting out a 55 to 50 point victory. In other news, in other news, the girls basketball team takes on Shelby Valley and the boys take on Lawrence County. As we need everyone here tonight to show Valley, we're still here to win. Maybe poet Turner Altman will recite another poem for us. This has been your Panther Sports Update with Two-Tone Blackburn and not Hawk Coleman. Tonight, we need you out for our Lady Panthers big game against the Shelby Valley Wildcats at Shelby Valley. Game time is at 7.15 tonight. Come dressed in your best blackout gear. Sing it. We will, we will rock you. A big disgrace, waving your banner all over the During the Poetry Out Loud competition, Miss Smith's graphic design classes had their artwork displayed in the foyer of the auditorium. The pieces will be displayed through the next th two or three days. Stop in and take a look. In Ms. Huffman's classroom, students have been working on posters where they have been assigned to artists to research. Here are a few examples. The Road Not Taken, Robert Frost. Two roads diverged at a yellow wood, and that's not important. What is important is that two roads diverged at a wood, and I ended up in the Pikeville hood. V-A-C-K is our cry, and those other schools, well, they don't get why. We seem to catch a lot of flack, much because of our word, back. Shelly Valley State Champs is what we hear, and Eastridge, well, they've got Sasquatch to fear. <laughs> we spread our wings to soar, and when we did, we made it to the Final Four. Facebook, it's been pretty intense, and it led to last Friday's suspense. We need all of you to be at the games to cheer, so that Hell Pikeville is what we all hear. Shaking our backs has become a tradition, and winning, well, it's our one and only mission. B-A-C-K is our cry, and those other schools, well, they'll never get why.
A special congratulations goes out to Jared Alton with his first place win, Lucas Taylor placing second, and Marcus Houston placing third. Unfortunately, Turner Altman did not win, but that's what happens when you don't follow the rules, kids. Another freshman? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's up, Freshie? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Swirly time. You good, man? Ugh. Ugh. Uh. Hey, how are you? Oh my goodness, that goes for me. Oh, oh my goodness, these are beautiful. Come on in. Meet my son. He's sitting on the couch. Come on in. Come on. Oh, these smell delightful. I can stick them in the tongue, my goodness. We have two minutes for <laughs> I, man, you ever played the doo doo jump on it? I love the doo 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 doo. You just playing some. You got to read. Why don't you tell me? Man, I love the read of. One, keep your hands off my mama. Keep your hands off my Doritos. This has been your Panther Power Hour with Ryan Markham and Sam Lane. Have a great day. And action. Ah!